Hey, back with me on the Sea Morning Show. After a 32-year drought, the Indonesian men's national football team finally brought home the gold medal during the 32nd Sea Games, beating out Thailand 5-2 in the final match with Thailand. And now the champions have returned home, and this morning they will be welcomed with a victory parade in Jakarta, where thousands of eager fans await them. To get the latest update from the victory parade, we are now connected with the, our news team who's very lucky, Arya Siddhartha and Erwin Gudiastama. Arya, how's it looking over there in the, at the parade? Well, the euphoria is very, very palpable here. Uh, I'm currently in the back of a pickup truck with my fellow journalists, where we're going to follow the victory parade as it happens. The parade hasn't happened yet. We are still at the Ministry of Youth and Sports, where, which is the starting point for the victory parade. But if you can hear the cheers behind me, it would seem as if uh, crowds have already gathered to um, welcome the arrival of the national uh, men's football team. As you can see, uh, many screaming fans um, right outside the door of the ministry are currently um, screaming at the uh, arrival for the men's football team right now. And even behind me, there are several uh, bus trams, as you can see, that will be used to carry the uh, men's football team uh, during their victory parade. Now, of course, several other um, SEA Games athletes uh, were here as well to join during the victory parade, but uh, not to diminish their achievements, the spotlight is most definitely on the men's football team during this day, as, as you've mentioned, They've broken a 32 years, yes, 32 years drought of a championship, and they've brought back home one right now against the, the um, indomitable Thailand team. Now, of course, the victory parade itself, as I mentioned, will begin here at the Ministry of Sports, and will continue on from uh, through Gata Tsubroto Street, um, around the uh, Samangi Interchange, as well as uh, eventually going to the HI Roundabout. Now. Um, we are panning towards the uh, thousands of screaming fans that are, are awaiting the arrival of the foot team. Um, Middle-aged ladies, you can see um, students, young people, old people, all people of all kinds and all walks of life are here to welcome our new champion. Of course, this is quite a monumental achievement and something that the Indonesian football fans have been desperate for, especially in the wake of the cancellation of the FIFA U20 World Cup just two months ago. But the Indonesian team won't just receive this parade as their reward, however, as a substantial cash bonus is also expected to be given to the um, gold medalist. Now, we are the parade is starting right now, as you can see. Over there are the Indonesian men's football teams, the champions themselves on top of the Trans Jakarta open bus. You can see being greeted by hundreds and hundreds of fans. And they will continue to um, meet more and more fans as they go on throughout the parade. Again, this is a well-deserved prize for a very physically and mentally composed team who went through a lot through their road to their gold medal, earning themselves four near-perfect victories against the Philippines, Myanmar, East Timor, and Cambodia during the group stages, eventually winning a close match with Vietnam in the semis, and finally, besting Thailand 5-2 to two in the finals of the SEA Games, the 32nd SEA Games in Cambodia, in one of the most entertaining matches in recent history. And beating Thailand was no walk in the park, uh, as well because we're talking about a football team that has won the most gold medals in SEA Games history at a total of 16 uh, gold medals. Meanwhile, Indonesia has only ever won three, including this one. So the, these are the winners of Indonesia's third ever gold medal in men's football in SEA Games history. Again, this uh, ends a 32-year drought that goes back all the way to 1991. 32 years ago, and the gold medal before that was all the way back in 1987 in only the sixth SEA Games in history. Now, Indonesian football fans have been through a lot um, this past year, and they're going to go through even more in the future. But regardless of what happens, I'm happy to report that as of today, we are definitely champions. Back to you. Well deserved indeed, well deserved. I mean, congratulations to all the Indonesian football teams and all the, all the athletes 
with medals or without medals, we are all winners, especially for Indonesia with most medals, as you mentioned earlier. Thank you again, Arya Satya, coming live from Kemenpora right now. We're looking forward for the parade coming towards the office, and then we're going to stop by and see that too. It's so exciting. Let's take a break. We'll have a special talk about preparing tickets for war. Stay with us in here and see Morning Show.